Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silvia. Today I have a Pilates sequence for you, especially designed to work on your abdominals. Because it's a, a short sequence, it's like 10-15 minutes, um, you can do it by itself when you're really short of time and you don't want to miss the opportunity to move your body or you can combine it with a, a different workout focusing on another part of your body depending on your time and your energies so whenever you're ready grab your mat and let's get started so let's start lying in a supine position with your legs straight you can uh, put a cushion under your head to support your cervical spine. Inhale here and exhale as you flex your torso forward, bring your right leg tabletop. Inhale and circle your arms. And switch your leg every time that you bring it to a tabletop position. Inhale as you come down and exhale, bring it up. Inhale and exhale up. So really start feeling your abdominals. <sighs> exhale, inhale, and exhale up. Inhale, gaze forward as you flex your chest up. Inhale, and let's do four more. Inhale, and three. Inhale, and four more. Inhale, and three. Point to your feet, and last two. <sighs> Inhale, come back down and exhale, last one, and bring it down. So bring your hands behind your head, flex your, your knees, and bring your legs to a tabletop position. So exhale, come back to uh, your chest up, and let's go into some oblique toe taps. So you're tapping with your toes on the floor, and you're rotating, you're twisting your torso. It's like you want to bring your... Uh, shoulder to your opposite knee and breathe and breathe and keep it at 90 degrees in your knee and exhale and exhale and keep going and breathe and let's do eight seven six five four three two last one and bring your legs into your chest for a few moments. Just release your cervical spine. Extend your legs towards the sky. Bring your, your hands behind your head again and bring your torso up. Inhale and exhale. Right leg down. Inhale and switch. Inhale. You can have your uh, arms straight in front of you or you can have that support for your cervical spine as you feel that you need to place your um, your arms inhale up and exhale down inhale up and exhale down and keep going up with your chest down and up down let's do last two repetitions and right and up and left up and bring your knees into your chest one more time. So just release your cervical spine. You can rock your head from side to side just a few moments. Just to release any tension you might feel in your neck and shoulders. And from here, come back, come to a seated position. We'll be sitting, we'll be placing our elbows. So really press your elbows down, bring your legs to a tabletop position. So start rotating your legs and hips, extend your legs, bring them back and back to center and twist, extend, bend and back to center and rotate and stretch and bend back to center and twist, reach, bend and keep going. So feel that your obliques are starting to work. So you're really supporting that twist with your abdominals and breathe and bend and back to center. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears and breathe and left, extend, bend. Let's do last repetition each, each side, rotate, extend, bend and center and twist, extend, bend 
and back to center and release. Let's go to some planking on our elbows. So place your elbows down, reach one leg and then the other. So uh, find your, your plank position and now rotate. And like you want to touch the floor with your hip, one and two and bring, bring it back to center and up for four, one and down, two and down, three and down, four. And let's go back to some twisting exercise. So hip to the left and the right, right and left, bring it back to center and hips up for four and down, two, and down, three, and down, and four. Let's do one more repetition and right, center, left, center, right, and left, and up for four, one, and keep breathing, two, and back, and three, last one, up, down, bring your knees in, and let's go back to a quadruped position this time. So really uh, curl your toes, so feel that you're pressing on the arms, on the hands and, and feet. So now from here, extend, extend, bend, bend, extend, extend, bend, bend, and from here, down dog with your legs bent, one, and back, and two, and back, and three, and back, and four, and back, and repeat, extend, extend, bend, bend, extend, extend, bend, bend, and bring your hips up into this downward dog. You can try to extend your legs if you feel like. So if you want to feel that stretch in the back of your legs. And down. last one, up and down. Let's do one more set. And extend, extend, bend, bend. Extend, extend, bend, bend. And up and down and up and down last two up on the last one you can stay up in your downward dog so stay here just a moment so make sure that you you can still keep your bent your legs bent if you want or you can try to stretch them so you can reach your heels to the mat so really find length in the back of your legs and pedal your feet. So let's do some running, some Pilates running here and breathe normally, breathe freely for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. See if you can extend your legs once again. So reach your heels down, press on your hands and now look forward, bring your right, right knee in. So make sure that your shin is vertical and really stretch that hip flexor on your left. So stay here. So feel that your left glute is engaged. You can uh, lift your left knee if you feel like. So, and stay and breathe here and release so place your right hand on your right knee and push it out so you really want to find another kind of length in your hip flexor shoulders are down you can look over your right shoulder and keep it here for a few seconds and then bring, bring it back to center. And let's do everything on the other side. So make sure that when you go forward, your shin is vertical. So you can curl your toes, your behind, your back toes. And so feel the right glute here really, uh, really strong. I really find length in your right hip flexor. So you can extend your back leg 
make sure your cervical is nice and long and then you can place your knee back down and really push that left knee out and press your shoulders down and really find length again in your right hip flexor and bring it back to center and bring it here. So find a comfortable seated position. It can be cross-legged or you can uh, grab a, a chair if you would like to. So really find length from the crown of your head. Find support from your abdominals. Inhale, right arm up and exhale. Let's go into some beautiful lateral flexion to stretch our obliques. Inhale up, back to center and exhale, bring it down. And left arm up. Grow tall and then stretch. Go up and over your head and feel that beautiful stretch here. Inhale and let's repeat it each time, each side for one more time. And exhale, reach. Inhale up and bring it down. And last one, left up and reach up and over. Inhale up and exhale, release. So both arms go up. Inhale, you can look to the sky and exhale, release. And inhale up. And one more time. And last one, up. So bring your palms together and bring your palms in front of your chest. Very well done. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And please don't remember to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. I hope to see you very soon. And thank you again for being with me.